Okay, hello, and Rand here, working on the case 9380 here again today. Uh, today, we're going to hopefully be uh, setting up the i3D file here. We got it imported yesterday's live stream, and we kind of did a couple of things to it. Now we need to kind of finish that up and hopefully get into some XML work here today as well. So first things first, this tractor has mirrors on it, so I'm looking at maybe uh, getting these mirrors fixed up here first. So uh, let's go find the chrome material here. There it is. I don't think I can just change this. I'm going to have to have a different uh, material on this. So we're going to create another material here. Uh, again, I don't understand why Giant Center doesn't let you do this in the editor, but they don't. So we got to do this in Notepad++. So create another material here. And again, when you create another material, you need to give it a different ID. And then you also have to change something up in it. And I always just change the RD, RDT value. So it's uh, different. So now we got material ID 114. Now if we go find the mirrors... Cabin mirrors. So we're going to give that to 114 for the material. And we'll save that. Now I forget. If I, got, I might have to have these mirrors separate. When I'm not 100% sure on that one. I guess we'll find out here if this is going to work. Uh, morning, Jeffrey. Welcome to the stream. Okay. Reload this. Yep. Couldn't have been a whole lot that uh, changed here. There it is. Uh, what we're going to do, though, is we're going to change up the vehicle shader, though, from a vehicle shader to a mirror shader. And I don't remember, everyone, I've only done mirrors once before, and I don't remember if it's only the mirror shader we have to do or if it's one other shader. I guess we'll find out. Ah, uh, there it is, the uh, mirror shader. Variation none, reflection scale two, sure, I guess. So like I said, I, mean, I don't remember if this is the only thing I have to do or if we're going to do something else. We'll uh, we'll find out on that. But Okay, so we do have to add the mirror shader to any mirrors. That should be done. And then we'll have to actually set the XML up for that as well. So that takes care of that. I think that's pretty much it for most of the materials on here. If I remember correctly anyway. Yeah, okay. Pretty good. Uh, let's see. So let's get the uh, steering wheel set up here. Let's see. So where is... Do I have a steering wheel in here already? No. No steering wheel, huh? Okay. That's fine. Let's. Uh, we'll create a transform group then. Transform group. We're going to move that under the cab. And just because I like to do it, I'm going to probably move that up near the top here. Uh, Jeffrey, would you show me this morning how to do tint? I won't uh, be able to make it an option as I'm unfamiliar with that. Oh, uh, uh, show, show Jeffrey how to do tint. Uh, is, is that safe? Showing Jeffrey how to do tint? We, we could uh, we could potentially do that. Let's see, we'll call that wheel reference. Now, what I need to do is get this to line up with the steering wheel here. And I gotta remember here, there's an orientation to this. I thought I'd save this. You know what? New plan here, one. New plan. I'm gonna get rid of that one. We're gonna go grab... I thought I'd save this with it. I guess I didn't. Go back to the white 4270. Grab the steering wheel back out of it. A lot easier working with... Because then you, you gotta have the orientations correct and... Yeah, just, just grab another steering wheel. That's another mod. Uh, Jeffy, I don't really want to mess uh, with someone else's mod, though, as I'm unfamiliar with... Uh, oh. <laughs> ah. Uh, or, uh, no, I'm not sure I know your horror story there with uh, Giant Center there, Jeffrey. Uh, steering wheel base. Yes. That is what I need. We're just going to export that. Export selection, though. There we go. Nope, we don't need to save that. Uh, again, by the way, for anyone wondering about the white, the white again is pretty much finished at this point, with the exception of the motor. Uh, I believe Wind Farm said he would hopefully have that done here this uh, weekend. So, and um, I don't think. I, well, oh, that's right, uh, Jeffrey, you did say the logos. I did hear something about the logos, so I think we got that fixed. We bumped them out a little bit more. Other than that, uh, I haven't. Heard, I don't think any complaints about that. Uh, true. Oh, wait, it's true farmer here. 
Oh, he is up in Team Sick. I don't know if he's uh, on the stream or not. I don't think I, I didn't send it to True Farmer yet, did I? I'll have to ask him if he's not watching anyway. Uh, Jeffrey, Josh could tell you he was up. Oh, oh, Josh was upset when he was. He. <laughs> oh, that sounds like a good story. Uh, let's see. Import the steering wheel. We're lucky here. This will be in the same orientation. It'll be kind of nice, but probably not. We're not going to probably get that lucky. Let's move that up to the top. Again, that's just personal preference. That's that's where I like to have it. Yeah, it looks like it's orientated ever so slightly differently, which, you know, go figure, right? Let's see. Watch here. Let's get the... Uh, get it centered here first, I guess. Actually, it looks like we're pretty good on center. Hey, Dakota. Oog, uh, hello, welcome to the stream. We need to rotate that ever so slightly. About like a so. That looks pretty good to me, everyone. Just trying to get the uh, orientation there as close to right as possible so <laughs> the steering wheel doesn't uh, spin off center, you know. It'd look a little weird. Uh, Jeffrey, I didn't uh, start my laptop up yesterday at all. Uh, uh, no, uh, what? Jeffrey didn't start his laptop? Wh what? Oh, boy. You having withdrawal symptoms there, Jeffrey? Do, do we need to send you help? <laughs> uh, okay. That should be pretty good. Now we're going to freeze the transform on this. Why is the... Uh, I don't know why that... I know this actually has a rotate zero already anyway, doesn't it? Okay, that should be fine. We'll delete out the uh, white wheel that's in here. And we're going to grab... Oh, this reminds me too, everyone. I almost forgot about that. We need to fix the uh, white's hands on the wheel. I'm trying to remember, see if we can do that here today as well. The white uh, On the white wheel, the hands look a little funny. Okay, and then we'll freeze the transform on this. Freeze transform. We want to freeze the translate rotate, and yeah, that should be good. Okay. And I don't know why this wheel's working like that, but... Uh... Nope. I don't want to rotate it. There we go. Oh, and uh, I guess I didn't mention this. Uh, since the last video, by the way, I did add a IH logo to the center of this uh, steering wheel, too. I thought that looked kind of good, so. Okay, now if I freeze the transform on this, I'm going to freeze it one more time here. Yeah, actually, you know what? Can I freeze the translate on this one? I'll find out. Freezes that one. Now oh, I can freeze it. Edit. Freeze. Bye. There we go. Yeah, just trying to get that steering wheel a little more straight. I think that looks a lot better to me than uh, why I was kind of crooked like that. Uh, Jeffrey, I would feel much better if Josh was here watching you add tint to these tractors. He's much better. Oh, uh-oh. Uh, Josh wants to add tint. Oh, boy, we're going to have to talk with uh, him as well, sounds like. And tint to tractor windows. Yeah, that does it for the steering wheel. What else do we need here? I think that's actually the majority of the uh, I3D work we need to do here for now. We might get to the XML, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what to do with the back end yet. Everyone will we'll come back to that. That might be, uh, I'll figure that. Oh, uh, that's right. Steering stuff. That stuff set up. Let's, uh, let's work on that here a minute before I forget. 
Or do we want to do the window tent? Does Jeffrey want to see the window tent? Yeah, we can do the window tent here a minute. Uh, let's do it on... Do the window tint on those. So we just click on the gla uh, cabin glass here. And as far as I know, I haven't done this myself, but as far as I know, you just got to go to the Albedo map here. We're going to click on that. Click on the fine texture here. You're going to go to the uh, shared folder for giants here. That's... Uh, Oh, uh, it's under Steam. Steam apps, common farming simulator, 19 data shared. I've actually got a link to this on my desktop. Seeing how we got to go here so often, but there is a couple of different glass ones on. Which which are are we on now? Uh, which one is this at the moment? This is the uh, window diffuse. Okay, so we're on the window diffuse. Uh, there is a window diffuse two, which I believe this one is the darker tint. Nope, maybe not. Eh, it might be a little darker. There's also up here, you also have clear glass. That's probably, yeah, there's, that's probably the one Jeffrey's looking for. Okay, you probably want the clear glass one. That looks like he gives it the darker tint. Uh, Jeffrey, well, someone else could just do it for us so we don't have to? Mm, someone could, but uh, there you go, Jeffrey. That's how you add window tint. So just change up the albedo texture there for your glass. Looks like you're probably going to want the clear glass O3 diffuse. Intro farmer. Hello. There's a window structures diffuse. I wonder what that is. Hmm, not sure. Yeah, there's there's a couple different glass ones in here. Yeah, those kind of leave a frosty look to them. Which I don't think you want that. Or maybe someone does. Uh, we're just going to go back to the uh, default window diffuse there. There we go. Nice clear glass. Oh, True Farmer, did I uh, send you the uh, white 4270 yet? No. I did not. Okay, remind me. It's, it's not done yet, but uh, yeah, if you just want to test out what is there so far. Uh, Jimmy, do you have... Uh, yeah, tractor's in the game. I mean, it's got some problems, but it's in the game. <laughs> It's got some stuff we need to fi uh, fix up here. So, okay, we got the uh, we got that glass uh, tint out of the way here. Let's go fix up these or get this uh, part back here. Work in a minute. Uh, true farmer or uh, oh, true farmer. Yes, thank you for the uh, subscribe. Five months. Woo. I think this is wrong, but okay. Uh, wrong. What? What's wrong? Ooh. I don't think it's been five months yet. Nice face mask. I like that. That's good. Uh, Jeffrey, how do you make it as an option? Well, some people don't throw a fit. Oh, boy. So how do you make it an option? Uh, that would be a little more work there, Jeffrey. That would be a little more work. Um, uh, if you were to make it an option, what you'd probably want to do is you want to duplicate the cabin glass. So do a control D. So now you have two cabin glasses. Now you're going to have to go into editor, set up another material, because you're going to have to have two different materials. And then you have to go to the XML and uh, create a uh, option set for it, uh, either vehicle customization or you'd, you'd have to have a customization option in the XML for it. That'd be a little more work. That'd be a lot more work. Doable. And uh, I want to categorize that as something particularly hard to do, but... Okay, let's see once here. Hydraulics. Uh, I did not save all the reference stuff I did from the white. I wonder if that would be easier. You know what? Let's let's go back to this white here. Seeing how I had it all set up for the white. Maybe we'll just grab this. Uh, True Farmer, you hacked farm some. You turned the brightness all the way up at night so you can see at night. Um, okay. Christine? It will. It works, huh? No, okay, well, that doesn't particularly surprise me. Uh, turning cylinders, that, oh, that is both sides. Okay, file, export. Turning. And again, that, this should just make it easier for me because then all the references are in here. I'm just obviously going to have to move them around, but at least they're all there. Oh, you know what? And there's going to be some, some back here, too. I'm not sure where those are. Those are in here. Yeah, they're, they're left and right there. Okay, well, just have to remember that. Uh, basically, the way this works here, uh, you got reference nodes on the front, and you got reference nodes on the rear. So 
So the rear reference nodes turn in correlation with the rear, front ones turn in correlation with the front, and then that controls how these cylinders orientate and stretch and pull and hey, good stuff, good stuff. You like moving parts. Oh, thank you. Uh, let's, uh, we're going to move this up under the hydraulics, I guess. I mean, that, that's hydraulics, right? Seems like they are to me. Okay, and we're just going to get that, uh, Position as close again. It's kind of hard to see under here with this uh, case because this one's a little more closed up than the white is, but. That's pretty close. We need to uh, obviously spread those out a little bit. The left side. We'll just uh, move that out. As close as we can. Morning, Wind Farm. Welcome to the stream. Uh, Jimmy, LSW is for life. Ugh. Only if you plan on having a short life, I guess. Nasty. Okay, now if we got this one already set here, I should be able to just uh, get a negative or positive value on the next one here. Let's so see what's here. So this one is 369. And if I do a negative 369 on this one, I should put it in the right spot. Looks like it did. Perfect. I think that looks pretty good. And then what we need to do here, turning left side reference. I believe that's the, no, that's that reference yet. Okay, turning oh. right left. That's also that reference there yet. Okay. Rod and left side reference. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Now this needs to go to. This needs to go there. Actually, no, let's control Z that. I move that. Nope, oh, that's not going to work. Okay. Oh, let's do the little trick here. Let's create a primitive cube. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a little cube so we can set it on that transform node that we know where it's moving to. Come on, make it smaller. There we go. Cut it. Paste it. Make that cube a little bit bigger so we can see it. And we're going to try to get that right on that there. Okay, it looks pretty, uh, pretty good to me. Trying to get that as even as possible. Uh, wind farmer's coming along. Nice, nice. Yeah, it's uh, coming along here, too. Uh, if you have to download the Epic Game Store... Uh, what I have to. Oh, you, you ha uh, what do you have to for? To get Snow Runnel. Oh. Oh, that's kind of annoying. 
Yeah, because they don't want to put it on Steam for some reason. Oh, I see. Our Steam, it's so bad, Steam won't accept it. No, it would be a good game. Okay, now we just need to get the right side reference in the same spot here. And again, I should be able to just uh, use the number I put on the other one here. So just to zero that out. And then this one is one. There we go. Call that close enough. I could probably put the cube on there just to make sure, but we'll call that good. And also, I'm going to duplicate this because we want the same references to be on the back. So, body. Um, yeah, there's a hydraulics on the back here, too, in there. Body. Uh, three, well, that's three point hydraulics. Um, We'll just put it under here, I guess. So we're going to middle mouse move those. And middle mouse move those. Now, what did I call these on the white? So if we name them the same, I shouldn't have to change anything in the XML here. One, that's the uh, hopefully the beauty of this. Uh, Jimmy, you would like to see a JCB on LSWs for life? Boy. People don't like to live very long, do they? Putting LSWs on their stuff. Ugh. Nasty. Nasty, nasty, nasty. I mean, JCBs are kind of nasty anyway, but... Left side, reference rear. I'm just going to copy that name. I just put rear on the back. Okay, that'll work. I can... Uh, right side of reference. Rear. Perfect. So when the back turns, it'll turn those reference nodes... And then the uh, game, well, engine will hopefully know where to point these hydraulic cylinders. At least that's the idea, I know why. Uh, Jeffrey, surprised that I don't have any tractors with LSWs on this new map? Ah, good choice. Sounds like Jeffrey's actually going to try to do some farming for a change. Okay. So, turning cylinder, that's that piece. So, we'll move this into there. up. That's the left side, right side. Move that into there. Move it up. And then the rod goes to that one. Move it up as well. I don't think the names on these will matter because I don't think I'm using the uh, part names for this. I think I'm using the transform names. Up. I guess just for uh, making sure I got it right, you know, why don't I give these the same name? Just in case I'm using those names in the XML, they'll have the same name. Again, this way, I, mean, I if, if I did it right, I shouldn't have to change anything in the XML for this. Work smarter, not harder. There we go. Okay. Uh, Jeffrey, my 4225 has the big Mita's tires, but it's uh, uh, it's got dueled Mita's. All right, well, or essentially LSW's in the game. Uh, Jeffrey's running dual. Oh, brother. Okay, and then we just need to freeze the transforms on these yet. So freeze, transforms. Uh, yeah, that should be good. Freeze it on that one. Freeze it on that one, and freeze it on that one. And then we'll get rid of the white bits. Oh, it needs to move up to this. And then that needs to move up to that. Get rid of that. Okay. Same thing on this one. That one needs to move up to the new one. Get rid of the old one. Needs to move up to that one. Get rid of the old ones. Uh, on the white, there are two-piece cylinder ends there. So on this one, they're just uh, technically... They probably should technically be two pieces, but 
Uh, we're going to make the assumption you're not going to be able to see under there and see the fact that that's not quite right. Uh, and that's the way the model was set up, by the way, so. And I did not realize that, otherwise I probably, possibly might have changed that, but uh, we didn't. Yeah. I went from working on uh, small things, turbo, AC, compressor, alternator, uh, V-belts. Oh, nice. Sounding good. Well, like I said, I uh, went from looking really good from what you uh, sent there before, so. Yay. What else do we need to get set up here? Hydraulic references, stuff like that. Still debating. Uh, should we take some giblets off the uh, ace and put them on here? Are these uh, attacher joints? They do have the same. Okay. Move that all forward. And I think that's using the color map. Nine, four, zero, two, seven. Like it maybe needs to go up just a smidge here as well. Or we could just leave it where it's at. I don't know why, but the red on here just uh, doesn't quite look right. Uh, let's see. This uh, this technically should be case red, right? If it's going to be case red... Uh, Jeffrey, depending on what kind of agricultural tire you want, uh, Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy, oh, I would... Uh... What's oh? What's the biggest tire for agricultural? What's the biggest tire for agricultural? Uh, Jeffrey LSWs go up to fourteen hundred or fourteen fifty. Eh, that's usually what on like a fifty inch rim too. I think right. Uh, anyway, brand colors. Let's see what's here. Oh, that's beige. Uh, we want case i case ih red. So if you want case IH red, which I, I wouldn't know why we want, this red on here just, I don't know, something doesn't quite look right about it. Seven, three. And they're doing five. And zero, five, huh? That's, that's supposed to be case IH red. That looks a little more red. I think I like that better. I mean, would it be possible to put the uh, Big Bud 747 tires on the Case IH? Uh, oh, it would, oh it's, it's definitely possible. I would assume those are separate tire files anyway. Uh, okay, we're also going to name it. Uh, let's see what's here. Ace 9380. Case ninety three eighty. Uh, Jimmy Randy will have the in game meet his tires as an option for this. Uh, that's the plan, by the way. Yes, yep. Uh, and, and why does that look like that took a greenish tint? Oh. There we go. Must have accidentally changed that, but there we go. Back to black there. 
Uh, yeah, I, I plan on using all, hopefully, if it works, which looks like it should, just all the tire options that came from the white. We'll just uh, bring them back over here, and it'll be about the same, I think. Uh, so let's uh, save that. Uh, close that. Close that. Close that. Close that one. No. Now let's get into some XML stuff here. We should be done with this one as well, I think. Case 9380. We're done with that. Get rid of that. Ah, uh, okay, so I forgot to change the name here. I thought I'd change this, but case 9380. Uh, let's see what's here. What kind of horsepower does a 9380 have? Brand is going to be Case. Uh, Jeffrey, isn't that an in-game? Uh, the... It should be Big Bud Case. I... Big Bud what? Trelleborg? Um, uh, we got uh, Trelleborgs. Uh, there's Trelleborg missions and metas on the white, which hopefully will be the same on this tractor as well. Uh, we're going to do a search and replace here. That's all these wheel configurations. Uh, let's see what's here. There's what I'm looking for. So anything that says reference node for that, we gotta change that because it's now Ace 9380. Place all. No. Can't do that again. Uh, okay, so 9380 front. Uh, let's do our place all. 10 occurrences. Then we need to do the same thing for the rear. Replace all. Cool. Uh, Jeffy, uh, you didn't see an option for... Uh, you didn't see an option for Trelleborg on the... You didn't? Weird. Seems like there should have been. Let's see, we got Lizard. Should have been four of them. There's Lizard, Midas, yeah, Trelleborgs. And, and Michelins. There'll be four different tire brands on the uh, the white. Uh, uh, Mitchell, did you get the uh, 4270 finished? Yeah, it's pretty much finished. Yes, I'm uh, simply waiting on a motor there. Wind Farm is uh, working on a motor there. So hopefully that'll uh, make that tractor look a little bit nicer there. Uh, I think he said he was hopefully going to have that uh, finished this weekend. So once the motor's done, we just got to slap the motor in. Uh, Jeffrey's already testing. He'll send it out to probably True Farmer there as well. He can uh, beat it up, see what's if he can find anything wrong with it. And then, uh, yeah, like I said, I probably won't buy it. Well, maybe I'll send it back to, the, like, Jeffrey just to make sure, like, the motor didn't break anything. It shouldn't. But <laughs> just to make sure, right? And, uh, yeah, and then it should be good. Uh, Mitchell also been out uh, chisel plowing with a 4180 for the last uh, few days. Ooh, sounds like fun. Okay, lights. Yeah, so I'll have to get to the lights here as well. Lights, huh? Lights, lights, lights. I guess we can uh, probably fix that here. The lights are going to be a little different on this track here, I guess. And I was actually thinking about that. Maybe I should separate these lights out just a little bit more. In fact, you probably should uh, do that. I should probably have, like, have some front lights, proper running lights, and then all the rest of the lights be work lights. Or we could just have all the front lights be turned on. I'm not sure. Not a whole lot of back lights back here. Oh, and we need to, uh, that's right, <clears throat> forgot about that. We need to do something with the blinkers yet, too. Maybe we'll get to that here. We'll see what's here today. 
for, uh, you've been up since 2 a.m. That's, that's a mite early, isn't it? 2 a.m.? Oh, 4 a.m. Uh, that's still early. Oh, that's what my body decided it wanted to be awake. Uh, Jeffrey, I'll wait to add the uh, tint to the window till it's completely ready. It'll be publicly released. Don't worry. I'll, uh, that version will be private. Uh, no one would want it anyway. <laughs> uh... I don't know why there's quite so much shading going on with this here, but. Oh, you know what? Oh, wait a minute here. No, that's separate. Okay. Yeah, I don't quite get why they're like that. I don't quite get why. What's up with the shading on this here? Oh, well, whatever. Uh, Jimmy, white tractors are technically Anko tractors. Um, they would be considered that now, I guess. Yes, I mean, back in the day, they were white tractors, but then they got bought out by Anko. At least as far as enough, I got that uh, right. Uh, let's see, what's our lights? How do we want to deal with the lights here? I think we probably should separate out these front ones. Otherwise, when I turn them on, they're all going to turn on at once, which seems like a little much to me. File, export. BJ. I presume, I wonder if I gotta vertex paint these again when you export them like this. Uh, you know what, just to be safe, we we'll probably will. Let's do that. Okay, looks like that's all painted. Back to edit mode. I'm going to separate these out. Front light reflectors. Let's call those hood. Nope, not that. Front light reflectors. This will be the hood. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Jimmy Oliver, that bought out by Chrysler, then Chrysler bought without... Uh, wait, bought with... Uh, now they're Echo. Wait, Oliver was bought out by Chrysler? No. White bought Oliver. Or I, I think, as I understand it, it was more of a hostile takeover type thing with Oliver, if I uh, understand it correctly. I don't believe Chrysler was ever involved, other than, uh, what, didn't some of them have Chrysler motors in them? Uh, export OBJ. Oh, not OBJ. I go Giants Editor. File. Export. Giants Editor. And I don't need the cameras or the lights. Uh, Jeffrey, do you have to share? Uh, it sounds like you're better there, uh, Jeffrey. It sounds like you're better. I'm not sure I got 100% all the facts either as to how that all goes. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, like I said, I'm pretty sure it was white bought Oliver. And then, of course, uh, Oliver went under, or not Oliver, White bought Oliver, and then Agco ended up buying White uh, when White pretty much went under. Uh, oops, no, let's not do that. 
Uh, okay. Oh, still exports the camera lamp with a transform. Eh, brother. Uh, backlight reflectors. Let's uh, save this. Edit it. Uh, we need to apply the materials here. Oh, and that's uh, that's mixed up in it. Let's uh, fix that. Dollar sign mirror. Black door. Uh, material ID eleven, huh? And all the way down to the bottom here. Material ID eleven. Save it. Maybe save this too before I forget. Reload it. Uh, Jeffrey White killed all the brands they bought. Uh, it's pretty much my understanding. Yep. Uh, if it wasn't for the fact that White had bought Oliver, Oliver would probably be around today from the sounds of it. But, uh, Unfortunately, you kind of have white to uh, thank for that one. Okay, so we got reflectors that are separate now. Uh, Jeffrey, they uh, killed themselves to save their truck division, which imploded as well. Yep. I create all the light sources for this. Uh, let's view show lights. No, I did not put any light sources down with those lights, did I? Okay. Thought I had all the lights set up here. I don't have the lights set up in the front at all, do I? Hmm. Lights in the back, I think, are all good. We got lights there. We got the lights up there. Don't have any of the front lights set up. Okay. Um, you know what? I think it would be easier. Let's go back to the white again. I know we're borrowing a lot of stuff from the white, but uh, easier to uh, borrow stuff than have to create new stuff all the time. Uh, wind farm, we're going to put the uh, engine lift points on it uh, so you'll have a, a place to chain this to make it easier to install. The uh -huh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> wind farm. Uh, all right, uh, let's see what's your lights. Lights front. I wonder if I accidentally deleted those out. Yes, because I want those. Let's export the work lights. Uh, Jeffrey, most of the uh, Minneapolis Million Cockshut and Oliver guys despise white. Yeah, that's probably why I don't like them either. Not a big fan of white. Work lights. Oh, wait, that's work lights back. I don't need back work lights. I need front work lights. Okay, nope, those are not the ones I want. Let me go find the front ones. I thought those were in the front ones. Guess not. Okay, body, light work, lights front. Oh, front cab lights, that's what I want. Okay, I'm going to want those. That should be four of them, right? No. Like two of them. I low lights. <laughs> okay, well, I'll just, uh, uh, work lights can. Maybe I will take those then. We'll just turn them around. That'll work. Probably the easiest. Okay, nah, back to the uh, back to one of the ones I originally had. Then file, import, work lights. We'll take those and we'll turn them around 180.
There we go. Uh, Jeffrey, if Oliver was around today, they would be number one with all the advancements they had. Anyone can argue with me on that one? Oh, I'll be happy to. John Deere's still here yet. <laughs> uh... Oh, uh, let's see once here. Let's lower these down. Be a little too low. That's be just to pull all these lights out from looks of it. Okay, let's get this one in the right spot. Ah, the fun part, moving lights around. That light looks like it should be pretty much straight. Um, Merche, is this coming to the consoles? Uh, no, this probably will not come to the consoles. Go. And then the one last light here. Uh true farmer, today is Wednesday, right? Uh how am I supposed to know what are you looking at me for? They're all the same. The day that ends in day, I know that much. Okay, let's maybe uh, change up the cone angle on some of these lights here a little bit or something. One, nope, not that one. That one? There we go. Oh, let's see once here. What can we do? Range. Make these maybe, like, shine out a little further. And cone angle 50. Okay, there we go. Yeah, this tractor has quite a few lights on it yet. Should be pretty good at night, I would think. Now, these won't be cab lights. These will be hood lights. And we'll drop this up in the lights. Got work lights. These are work light back. Work light front. Okay, I think all the lights actually have light sources attached to them now. Oh, 
Uh, went for most of the um, uh, Minneapolis Moline dealers. Never got over the uh, merger between Oliver and Minneapolis Moline. As, and don't want to call it a half breed tractor. A, Millenni or a Minneapolis Moline motor, Oliver rear ends. Hmm. Uh, Jeffrey, those tractors are bad. <laughs> 2150 was one of the worst tractors ever made. Oh, it was it? <laughs> 2150 was one of the worst tractors ever made, huh? Okay, back to the XML here. Let's get these lights uh, lights set up here. So, uh, let's see. You know what? What can I do here? Let's do this so you folks can see it as well. If we do that, oh boy. <laughs> uh, that should be pretty good, I guess. So front hood lights low. I actually can leave that the same. Front cab lights. Front cab lights. Work cab lights. Okay, now I'm going to pull this back out here. Uh, we do have cab lights. No, I do not have cab. Oh, okay, I'm missing cab lights. Okay, let's... uh. Duplicate that then. Now let's undo that. Let's duplicate this. Rotate this 180. Missing some lights yet. What's it pretty close? These will be work lights. No, these will be uh, work lights front, sure. Uh, work light cab lights rear. Lights. Light back. Front. Uh, True Farmer, are we on normal difficulty on server? Uh, you know what? I am not sure on that one, True Farmer. I would assume so. Okay, I want to know prices and I'm, stuff. I'm thinking. Like, uh, price for wheat is right. probably, what, five, six hundred, seven hundred, maybe? You can usually tell by the prices. It looks like normal, but I'm not sure. Uh, though, yeah, yeah I should say that. Because then you can also have the fact that the map might have custom prices on it, too, so... Is that so cotton get up to 2,900? I think that's about right, isn't it? Oh, wait. It's like 2,600, 2, Hmm, okay. Okay, that light looks like it's pretty close. Okay, there we go. Uh, Jimmy, you should go check out this guy on YouTube, the Oliver guy, Chris Lucy. Uh, he has an Oliver... Oliver tear tires on an Oliver. The tear tires was for Oliver tracks. Uh, okay. Uh, Jeff, you watch him. Uh, he's a good guy to watch. Uh, Wind Farm, just because he you built the uh, best mousetrap doesn't make you dominant in the market. Uh, that's true. It doesn't. It doesn't. Nope. There's a lot of marketing and other stuff that goes in along with that. Marketing and dealer networks and uh, yeah, a lot of stuff that goes along with that. So...
Okay. Lots of lights. The way I like it. Uh, Jeffrey has a 1950 Terror Tire. I'll recall that the El Toro. Oh, wait, okay. Uh, yeah, okay, I think I know what that is now. Yes. Uh, it's, it's kind of a... Uh, if I remember, it's the tire that they kind of like put on pulling track, right? Big, fat, wide tire. Not quite that tread on it, but something along those lines, right? Uh, wind farm, the Moline motor and diesel was very bad. Oh, very bad, huh? Uh-oh. They have a major design flaw, did they? Or just bad in general? Okay, let's uh, see once here now. Let's see. Uh, let me do that here again so you folks can see both. Normally, I would probably put it over on the other screen, but then you won't be able to see it. So, okay, front uh, cab lights. Cab front. Work lights back rear. Uh, Turkish Cowboy, uh, thank you for the follow. Thank you very much for that. Welcome to the stream. Good. Like I'm missing some lights here. These are not back. These are hoods. Oh, yeah, that's right. The rear lights, they'd be on the rear. Uh, e M V E G T G. Uh, thank you for the follow. Thank you very much for that. Welcome to the stream. Let's see what's your lights. That's what I'm forgetting. Lights down here, too. Aha. No, I had more lights. Work the lights back. Pretty much a matter of what uh, what lights do we want to have turned on, when and where. Uh, Jimmy, so he has LSW knockoffs from Oliver. Uh, Jeff, they're not knockoffs. They were around before Goodyear made the LSW. Uh, that's true, that's true. Uh, Wacker SCH, thank you for the follow. Thank you very much for that. Welcome to the stream. You know what? I'm going to pull this on the other screen so I can actually see this better. Getting confused by this. Hmm. That light's pointing down there. That's rather interesting.
Auto Farm, some started out as gas, and they put uh, diesel heads on it, like uh, General Motors' first diesel for pickup. No. So they, they just took a gas motor, put a put a head on it for a diesel, and uh, they called it a diesel, huh? Okay, anyway, back to what we got going on here. Let me figure out how I want to do the lights a minute. Let's see what's here. If we do... So front light's low. That would make sense. And then if we do... The next one... Work hood lights. Yeah, let's do that. And then let's do those. That one. And we have three light types. Realize we had to insert on. That's not good. Probably means that messed that one up too. Yep. Okay, there we go. Uh, Jimmy, possible to put on uh, put LSWs on a white tractor in real life? Uh, what? No, why not? You could put them on any tractor, I guess, if you wanted to. Okay, there we go. And then if we do the cab lights. Number Okay, front, rear, and then last but not least should be those, I think. That should be all the lights, hopefully. Uh, Jimmy, you cannot put LSWs on a big bud. Oh, uh, you can't put LSWs on a big bud? Uh, why would that be? I think you could. Yes, I wouldn't know why you wouldn't be able to. Okay, now to get all the reflectors to match the uh, proper ones here as well. Let's see, one and three. Forget if that's got to be a comma. Light types, one and three. Might have to go look at another mod sequence if that's one and three or one space three. Or, I mean, it's, it's yeah, one, zero, three. Okay, front light reflectors. Let's see once here. That's going to be under body. Front hood reflectors. And then front light reflectors here. That'll be for one. Backlight reflectors. And then the cab ones. Okay, so yeah, I know, like I said, I know you folks couldn't see that there, but uh, just copying all the reference nodes there to the XML, so hopefully they line up. 
Uh, Jimmy, the frame is too small for LSWs on a big bud. Mm. I don't see how that would stop you. Frame don't have a whole lot to do with it, as long as they bolt on. Actually, the one thing that, well, I don't know if that would stop you on a big bud. You'd have to have the rooms for it. Uh, but do the big buds have a final drive? That might be a little bit more difficult. Ah, some good Mountain Dew. Okay. Uh, turn. Yeah, we'll leave those turn signals be. Let's see. Anything else we need to uh, address while we're in here? Like, majorly. Oh, motor configurations. Eh, we'll get rid of those for now. Exhaust effect. Only got one. Sounds, water splash, fill unit configurations. Uh, yeah, there's no def on this uh, unit, so we should be good there. Thatcher, design configurations. Yeah, we don't have that. Connection hoses. We'll leave that there. Cylindered. That should all be good. Foliage bending wearable. Yeah, that should all be good. Oh, I3D mapping. Yes, very important. Need to map the I3D. Okay, let's uh, save that here a minute. Make sure we save this as well. Don't think I made any changes, but just in case we did. Okay, open file. Export map ends. Copy to clipboard. Yeah, that should be good. Save it. And I think we can maybe uh, test in the game. See once what we have broken, what we need to fix. Probably going to be some stuff, I'm sure, but... Let's see, new lights, work lights, we're done with those. Alright, let's fire up the game. Uh, Jimmy Walker's Farm has LSWs on one of their combines. That's true, they do. They do. They got some really big LSWs. Yep, no, uh, no shop image yet. Minor details there, but oh well. Someone really needs to clean this uh, shop up. Look a little bit of a mess here at the moment. Uh, let's see what's there. Lizard. Oh, why does it have lizard on it? It's like Case IH. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I know why. Yeah. Because I had, I put Case in it instead of Case IH. Brand name is Case. It's Case IH. That is the brand name uh, the game is looking for. Okay. If that, uh, if I reload that, if that'll uh, take effect right away. Nope. Oh, probably have to reload the game for that. That's fine. Uh, let's see what's I'm still not sure why the tires aren't lining up yet. I'll have to figure that out. Minor details there, though. Uh, let's see what's here. Yeah, I think we're looking uh pretty good.
Uh, Jeffrey 1400s, the biggest LSWs on there, won't fit on the big bud. So, uh, well, right, uh, you'll, you'd have to select the right size, of course, but... Yeah, let's just uh, see what's what we got. Uh, actually, what do we got for error messages? Uh, index not found. Front light turn. Oh, okay, front lights. That's not too bad. Turn lights are not found. Well, that's uh, minor details. Uh, PTO output needs to have either a valid output node or skip to input. Oh, okay, weird. That's all the error messages? Wow, that's, <laughs> that's pretty good. Something wrong with the PTO. I'm not sure why, but... Let's see if the front lights or the lights work we want. Yep, front lights come on. We'll drive in the shadow here. Um, hmm. Yeah, I wonder why the wheels are funny. That's weird. Okay, those lights turn on. Those lights turn on. Those lights turn on. Okay. And the cab lights turn on. And they turn off. Oh, duh. Right, I know why. I was going to say, there should have been one more yet. I did not increment this down here at all. Back down to our lights. Lights, lights. Uh, light states. We need one more state yet. And three. There we go. Technically, you can add whatever light states you want on here. So, you know, if you want, uh, you, you could add a whole bunch of light states. Turn this on, turn that off. We just, uh, at least the way I've done my mods, you turn on some lights, turn on more lights, turn on even more lights, blind your lights, you know, type thing. <laughs> as many lights as we can turn on, right? So... Yeah, it looks like it's got some halfway decent lights on it. Steering wheel rotates. Sweet. I don't know. Uh, as far as the back end goes, I'm I'm I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards. I think I'm going to leave this uh, back end on here like this. That don't look too bad to me. I don't know, what do you folks think? Do we, do we need to change that back end up, or is that going to work? Uh, Jimmy, they tried to fit the LSWs to one of their big buds. They said the LSWs were too big. Well, right, you'd have to get the right size. Uh, True Farm is still better than some mods you've seen. <laughs> Yeah, the tires, what are up with the tires here? I know I set those node references. At least I think I did. Maybe we should go check. Did you forget to save them? Uh, wait, I gotta save them? Now they tell me. Oh, motor. Yeah, you know what? We should really see if we come up with something with a motor for this thing too, shouldn't we? Uh, Oh, that's right. I don't have the Big Bud 450 in here, do I? Oh, you can look up through there. Hmm, okay. Kind of, kind of a nice shiny look to it. I'm not sure why it's so shiny, but that's kind of cool. I actually like that. <laughs> and uh, it shouldn't have the quad track on there, seeing how we got tires on it. Actually, you know what? The tracks properly work here. Let's see if the tracks work. They should. Yeah, it looks like they're uh, looking right. Um, uh, 30-inch tracks on her? Sure. I do see a slight problem, though. 
Uh, yes, I'm going to have to stretch out. So the steering arms are working, which is really good to see, by the way. But I'm going to have to stretch them out so they don't uh, slide out of the tube like that. <laughs> okay. I remember I did that on the uh, the white there when as I extended it. But I never did that on this one. I forgot to do that. Uh, the way they got it modeled, it ends right where the cylinder start, or Right where the end of the cylinder is, that's where the rod starts. You need to obviously have that rod inside of the cylinder. So, but hey, it is working, though. That's cool. We got to check that as well, so I have to fix that. What else do we need to maybe look at fixing here? I gotta do something with them wipers yet. Something with the turn signals yet. That's, yeah, it's getting close to wrapping up the stream here as well. That might be a good spot to wrap it up too, maybe, because we made some pretty good progress here. Let's maybe uh, look into the tires here a minute. And maybe the steering cylinders, and then maybe we'll, uh, like I said, it's probably about time to wrap it up. So let's, uh, real quick here, what is wrong with my tires? Why are my tires not going to the right spot? Oh, I got translation nodes on them. Oh, I do. Huh. wonder why. Probably to push them out, I bet. Okay, that's probably why. Well, let's, uh... Uh, well, let's... You know what? Actually, let's go pick another different tire configuration. There's probably a reason I have that on there, so I don't quite... Uh, actually, you know what? I know the reason, because I needed to push them out away from the tractor. That's why. actually go no trail oh, trail bars are fine there we go now those tires are pretty much where they need to be looks like they're a little low but yep that makes sense they're a little more on the center line looks like i'm gonna have to do something with the hubs there and it looks like the tires definitely need to be pushed out a little more too so let's uh yeah we got translations on these that's why okay so we can fix that here pretty quick i think And then, too, along with that, looks like I'll probably have to shear the end of this off. So I'm going to have to probably uh, get that into uh, back in a blender here and chop that end off. It's going to stick out a little too far. Unless we uh, unless we put the tire right to the end of it. It's going to be, like, too far out, though, I think. So, uh, should we just try one? Let's try one. Let's see how that looks. That'll be negative one on this side. Same thing for the rears. One. And negative one. Okay, let's hide all these lights here, too. It's a little bit annoying looking at all the lines. Show lights. Hide them. There we go. Much, much cleaner. <laughs> uh, Trooper, your school's in hot water. Uh, your school's in hot water. A, a tint option. Tint op well, what, do you, what, what do you want a tint option for? Okay, okay, fine, fine. We'll uh, we'll show Jeffrey how to do a tin option after we finish the tires. Okay, so now what we need to do is go to this here, uh, front wheel. Nine four zero five three. Nine four stayed the same. And that went to one. Not sure why I'm bothering to change this, because it's technically going to just stay in the same spot. But I might still need these yet and actually push them out further. Oh, no, wait a minute. No, the 053, that needs to be a different value for the rear. Rear is... Zero six two. 
Okay. Eh, we just gotta copy-paste that for all these. So basically what's going on here, the reason the uh, tires didn't look right there is because under the tire config options here, I have object change nodes that are moving the translation locations of those tires. So that's why they uh, weren't in the right spot. The translation nodes themselves are in the right spot, but then they were getting moved for uh, different tire configurations. That's what's up with that. And this should just be, I uh, will make this more of a temporary fix because we might have to go back and uh, update these uh, translations a little more yet. But for now, that should be good. Okay, what else did I say I wanted to fix? Uh, let's see what's here. Oh, the cylinders. Let's go do that here a minute. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to pull that out. You know what? Can I take, I should be able to take all of this. File, export all of it. Oh, wait, uh, I, export, I need to export that as OBJ. File, import, OBJ. And what we need to do here, select that one, edit mode, we just need to select those and pull them into the cylinder about halfway or so. Let me actually do this so we can actually see it in there. Oh, probably about halfway or so should be pretty good, I think. Hang on, let's do undo that, control Z. Now let's do it. We're missing a couple uh, points there, that's why. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing for the other one. Edit mode. Grab the points on that end. Slide it into the cylinder a little bit more. That should, oh, don't do that. And that should be pretty good. Okay, object mode. Perfect. Export. Oh, giant side 3D. New cylinders. And re-import them here. Well, let's see. The only ones I really need... Actually, let's uh, update the um, materials here first. Let's go to edit mode. Uh, what's the chrome one here? Chrome... Chrome is material ID number 24. Well, the rods, we don't care about the cylinder parts. We're going to leave those be 24. And 24. Save. Reload. It doesn't look like the material came through properly there, maybe. Hey, Jen Jake, welcome to the stream. What's up? What's up? No, that does not have chrome on it, does it? Why you no have chrome? Mirror shader, what? Oh, oh, okay. Save. Back to the editor here. We don't need the mirror shader. <laughs> it's wrong chrome. Okay, let me go find the other chrome here. Chrome. That was 24. Where's the other chrome here? Chrome. Okay, let's try number 20. That chrome is for the mirrors. Speaking of mirrors, I didn't check. Did those work?
No, they are not working. Okay, I'll have to look into what uh, what did I do wrong in the... Oh, nothing is set up in the code for the emitters, I think. That's probably what. Okay, now we should be good. Reload this. There we go. Now they're chrome. Okay, left rod. No, it's the right rod, so let's put that in there. Play off the old one. Do the same thing for this one. Okay, now they shouldn't st sit here protruding out from the other side here anymore. Hopefully. Or hyperextending themselves, whatever you want to call it. Okay, that should be good. What else did we want to fix? Uh, mirrors. Let's look into the mirrors here real quick a minute. Why are the mirrors not working? Like I said, I might be missing something completely here, but... Uh, let's see, what's your white? I think the only other mod I've done mirrors on was the white 145. Mirrors, yes. Okay, and they are separate, so I might have to separate those out then. Okay, does that actually have to go in... Oh, that needs to go in the enterable section. Okay. So I can't put it there. Where is the enterable section? There it is. It needs to go there. And then, of course, those nodes need to be updated. And then, like I said, I'll have to split those mirrors up. They are currently one piece at the moment. Captain Mirrors, file, export, OBJ. And I'll just close it. Let's go check the UVs on here for a minute. Uh, UV editor. Oh, okay. That's not quite what I was expecting to see. Okay, let's uh, smart project these. Now oh, back to the UV image editor. There we go. And let's see what's your Chrome is over by two. And we're going to separate them out by selection. So we got cabin mirror. This will be the uh, left, cabin mirror left. And cabin mirror right. And we can export those. Export. Oh, giant side 3D. And import. Uh, where is cabin mirror? Actually, no, before I export or delete that one, I'll let me uh, do the materials or save. Edit. Uh, yes, reload. Or if it's still 24. Let's uh, find out. Looks like it probably is.
Your shader, yep. So get rid of those. Those up in there. And then we go update the XML for mirror one. I'm going to reverse those around, I guess. And then the mirror right. Okay. Uh, Bubba Blue, thank you for the follow. Thank you very much for that. Uh, Bubba Blue, I haven't seen your channel in forever. Well, hey, welcome back then. Welcome back. So mirrors, that should be all set. Save it. Your shader's on. Doesn't look like the UVs maybe quite took effect. I don't know, but uh, maybe that's the way they're supposed to be. Anyway, minor details. Not seeing if there's anything else. That was most of what I was looking to fix right at this point. And we'll have to uh, re-update the 3D map in here. Because we added some mirrors and stuff. Uh, game. Yep, yep. Nice part about i3D mapping. If you uh, make changes like that, just update the mapping. Don't have to worry about updating any references in uh, the, the mod itself. Uh, Turing almost have $850,000 what to spend it on. I think I have some more. And by 21 and 17, there you go. Sounds like a uh, good choice. Some more land. Always a good idea. I have to do some missions before that. Uh-oh. need another million dollars. You need another million dollars. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, and I forgot to do this. Uh, cast Receive Shadow. Flip distance 300. Yes, we see shadow. Curse me, I probably forgot to do that for the front light reflectors here as well. As well as the hydraulic bits on the front here. Uh, Hess, you're not uh, getting number 17 for that. Oh. <laughs> oh, and welcome to the stream, by the way, there, Hess. Uh, Jeffrey, they're playing on Stone Valley. Yep, playing on Stone Valley. Just started the map, by the way, for anyone that would, uh, well, just started. Been on it for since this uh, weekend. So, yes, if you'd like to uh, join, again, you're welcome to do so. Information is uh, down below. Okay, we'll save that. Let's just uh, reload the game here, see what's what we fixed, what we broke. I know the uh, turn lights are going to be broke yet because we haven't done anything with those. I'm still thinking we're going to grab some in-game lights and uh, call it good. Okay, career, load it up. Start. Uh, Bubba Blue. Oh, Stone Valley. Nice. Yes, liking the map so far. It is a uh, 4X map, so it's a big map, but got some pretty nice uh, terrain on it. Some nice uh, even fields, it seems like. Uh, more squarish, you know, nothing odd-shaped. It's a little more uh, friendly. Hey, there we go. We got the proper logo on there, finally. Looks like the wheels are lining up a little better. We might have to do something with those fenders. Hmm. I would presume a non-quad track version of this probably has different fenders so we might have to look into that but uh yeah we'll just put tracks on it for now that fixes that problem uh bye bye 
kind of don't like odd shaped. I like a little odd, but uh, right, same here, Bubba. Yep, yep, I agree with you there. Watch out. Down a little bit. Uh, Stone Valley there has some nice square fields, but then it has some kind of like corners and stuff too, so not like odd, but uh, they're, they're not exactly rectangular squares either, right? So. Hmm. There's no exhaust. Where's the exhaust at? Ain't no self have to fix that. Let's see, how's our steering looking? Oh, yeah, that's looking good. Oh, ain't no. Party. About to, about to nice. I like it. Randy likes it. Back in the dark uh, shade here. Okay, our lights are working. Yeah, looks like all the lights are working. Uh, but, oh, nice. And also a uh, nice tractor. Yeah, it's not turning out too bad. Our drive shaft is turning in there, but you really can't see it. <laughs> if you can see us, see it through a little corner there. Probably if we can't see it, not much sense keeping it, but... And the sinkhole that claimed a console in his... <laughs> right. Don't forget about the sinkhole. Very important. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, the mirrors work. Hmm. No. Okay. Uh, I might be missing something on the mirrors here yet, everyone. Well, they're invisible in that view. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I might know. I might know. Let's see what's here. Might be a slight problem right in here. Edit with Notepad++. Let's go back to the top and check this once. Oh, no, it is. Let's play. Uh, okay. Linked, right? Okay. Nope. That's not the problem. Something else is wrong. Uh, but, uh you got FS15 mirrors now? Is that what we got? <laughs> Apparently. Um, hmm. Like I said, I've only done mirrors once before. I might have to go back and look what I did last time for the mirrors. Otherwise, most of the models I've done haven't had mirrors on them. And also, those levers are going to need some help. They got some weird texturing on them. Just notice that. Yeah, little oddities here and there. Ooh, yeah, well, yeah, I like the top of the cab. That looks pretty nice. Uh, has to be an, oh yes, you like that tint on the window? That's what you call no tint. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's the no tint option right there. Uh, ability. Uh, thank you for the follow. Thank you very much for that. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I think we're making some uh, pretty good progress. We definitely got some more updates to do. Uh, turn signals. Yeah, it's it's loading in the weird brakes there. We just need to fix that yet. Uh, we need turn signals front and back on the top. We need to do something with the flashers back here. Uh, do the Demco tanks work on the quad track? Uh, if you put the attachers on it, yes, they would. They're not going to work with this one because I didn't put the attachers on it, but... And those are not the correct tanks, I don't think. Yeah, I'll just buy another one. If we do... Tank mount? Yes. Oh, let's see. Is it car op protection? Tiger front tanks. Yes. Beacons and flags. Oh, boy. Uh, wind farm with the mirrors reversed. Oh, I wonder. That could be a problem. Yeah, that could be. I wonder if that is what's going on. Although, well... Yeah, I don't know. Hard to say. I don't see nothing here. Yeah, there we go. We got front tanks. Well, that's kind of uh, blocking the lights a little bit, though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, we might have to uh, <clears throat> move that attacher joint a little bit. They do attach, though. Okay, let's uh, say once here. 
Yeah, we gotta fix the fan. Uh, it's, it's meant for tracks. So it works for the tracks. It's just not meant for tires. That. We don't need that anymore. There we go. Uh, the, the default option is just tires, so I didn't bother changing it to the tracks there, so... Okay, let's see what's here. One last thing. Jeffrey keeps requesting tint on his glass. I don't know who in their right mind would want tint on their glass, but uh, Jeffrey Josh will be happy. Uh oh. Okay, so Jeffrey keeps wondering how to do tinted glass. Uh, so let's, uh, if we want to do a configuration for it, we're going to duplicate the glass. Cabin glass. We'll name it something different. Uh, we'll just call it tint. And then this also has a separate door piece, so let's, uh, uh, you know what? What we can do here to make this easier. Move the door glass up into there. Copy the door glass as well, which is Control-D. Put that down there. So now we have two, uh, two glasses. Door glass tint. Uh, we'll save that. We'll go to the editor here because we need to have two materials for this, so... Now, where is our material for the glass? Window mat? Custom shader window. That is probably it. We're going to copy that. Uh, material ID 1. We'll just make it 122. And again, as a reminder, you got to make sure you change something in it here. Otherwise, it's going to come back with the same one. So, 1, 0 should be fine. And then we'll search for window. Or right, that's actually cabin glass, isn't it? That's right. Uh, 122. On the tents, we'll change it to 122. Close it. Save it. Reload it here. Yep. And on the glass tent, now we should have a different uh, different material on it, so we're going to change this to... Let's see, I think it was that one we said, right? Boom, darker. And if we show the visibility... The other one is still there yet, still the way it's supposed to be. So let's uncheck the visibility on both of these. We're going to save that. That does it for the editor. That's all you have to do in the editor to make this, uh, the shop lot. Yeah, the shop lot is full there, Winform. I need to uh, clean out the shop lot there. So that does it for the editor. Now we need to go to here. Oh, well, we're going to have to open up the XML. XML, there we go. And we're going to need some uh, configurations here. So I didn't put any configurations at all on this other than front loader. So we can't use the front loader configuration. Let's see what's here. We can use so we can use the design configuration, vehicle configuration. Uh, we probably don't want to use a configuration set. Let's do, do a design configuration. Let's copy that code. Bring it over here. And we'll give it a name. Window hint. Configuration fenders. We are just going to rename that. So no tint. And then tint. <coughs> Excuse me. This is really true. So we just need uh, one object change node for each one of these. And for that, of course, we're going to need cabin glass for the one. Give me that node. Cabin glass tint for that one. That'll be that node. And then we need to do one more thing because we added additional stuff to the uh, i3D. We need to remap it here again. Open file. Or you can manually map it, but uh, I think we want to do that for when we got this. Copy to clipboard. Paste it. Save it. Okay, if I did everything right, there you go, Jeffrey. Now I have window tint options. Hopefully Jeffrey followed along carefully so he can uh, do that on the white. 
if you want to make it an option anyway. Uh, Jeffrey, uh, he'll be happy with the uh, tanks. Now he'll be even more happy with the tent, huh? Uh, questionable. Very questionable. Got some crazy farmers out there putting uh, LSW big fat white tires and tint on their glass. Oh my goodness. Weird farmers. <clears throat> There's nothing wrong with window tent. Mm, nuts. Okay, let's see if our options worked. Had to test it, you know. Let's see, wheel brand, wheel setup, window tent. So it looks like we got, uh, I would say that's no tent. Ooh, tent. Doesn't look particularly dark, but uh, yep, there you go. It's got a little bit of a darker shade to it. There might be, a, I don't know, there might be another one in there you could use to make it even darker yet, but... Uh, Jeffrey, I will be too. Uh, questionable farmers. Definitely darker in there. Not a lot, but definitely darker. Okay, well, on that note, I think with that, we're going to wrap this uh, live stream up here. I'd say we make some, uh, made some definitely good progress here today on this. Um, I've seen what's maybe uh, next time we'll come back. We can, uh, we got to get the blinkers working here. What else do we got? Blinkers. Need to maybe get some materials and stuff for the motor together. Need to figure out something for the fenders for the wheels. I'll have to go look and see what's what they do for uh, tracked or tired versions of these. You know, so if we can uh, model something appropriately. And like I said, uh, this back end, I think that looks pretty good on there. I don't know what you folks think, but uh, I'm thinking I'm going to leave that there. And uh, I think we're going to call that like that. I'll remove the uh, hitch that's currently in the model because currently we have two hitches there, as you can see. Well, it's actually kind of hard to see, isn't it? We'll probably get rid of that. And then uh, that'll leave a three-point option back there. So, uh, Jeffrey, I will bring this uh, stream up when I go to try this out. Thanks a bunch. Yeah, like I said, not really that hard, I don't uh, think, there. Just uh, just watch your nodes. Update the i3D mapping if you got that tool, or if not, you got to man have to manually do it. Which, uh, if you do that, you'll want to make sure you probably add it at the bottom of the stack rather than the middle, but oh well. So anyway, again, everyone, thanks for watching, and uh, until next time, hopefully tonight we'll probably, I don't know, we'll probably play some farming simulator again tonight. So, again, join us tonight for that. So thanks for watching, and until next time.